They say it's impossible to swim in water filled with bubbles, that instead of floating, you'll actually get pulled under. To find out if that's true, Adam decided to start with a small-scale experiment. He placed some steel balls inside a plastic container to make it float at a specific depth. Then, he turned on a bubble diffuser at the bottom of a fish tank. Thousands of tiny bubbles surged to the surface. Surprisingly, instead of sinking, the container actually rose by about a third of an inch. But this was just a small test. Nowhere near enough to draw any real conclusions. So Adam decided to scale things up. Jamie built a medium-sized bubble diffuser using canvas. This one could produce more bubbles over a wider area. It was clamped between heavy steel frames to prevent it from floating during use. Next, they moved the experiment to a 5,000-gallon tank and placed the bubble diffuser at the bottom. The plan was simple. Adam, wearing scuba gear, would enter the tank. Then they'd turn on the diffuser and observe whether he could still swim or if the bubbles would drag him down. As soon as the test began, Adam was pushed to the edge of the tank by a sudden surge of bubbles before he could even steady himself. Then he was pulled downward and drifted back toward the center. Because the tank wasn't big enough to swim properly, they built a much larger bubble diffuser, one big enough for Jamie to actually swim above it. First with the diffuser off, Jamie swam across the pool in just 20 seconds. Then they turned it on. Tens of thousands of bubbles burst up from the bottom. When Adam swam through the bubbling area, even with all his strength, he couldn't overcome the force created by the rising bubbles. No matter how hard he tried, the intense water movement rendered his efforts useless. But this only happened when the diffuser was running at full power. At just a quarter of its power, Adam could still swim, though it was clearly much harder than in still water. That's because bubbles reduce the water's density, which decreases buoyancy and makes you sink more easily. On top of that, the chaotic water Water flow throws your movements off, canceling out much of your effort. So the myth turned out to be true. If you ever see a pool or body of water bubbling like that, don't jump in just for fun, because odds are that fun could turn into a real emergency.